Hey my friends, it's David Tran. This is a cool and fun and awesome episode that I will share with you how to use custom fonts in your iOS apps using Swift and we'll do a version using Storyboard as well. Now, uh, the reason why I created this episode is not only this is day number eight, eight in my 30 days of code change where I document my process of creating a new app, a new feature of an app every single day, 30 days, and then I will create a new video tutorial sharing with you, document with you the process of doing that in 30 days. Well, it will probably took them more 30 days because creating an app, doing research, and then making the videos, it takes longer than that. And I have a full-time job at Wally, so, well, okay. So if you're new to this, please subscribe and click the link below this video so that not only you get the resources for this demo, for this episode creating custom fonts, also you get my weekly newsletter where I share with you the Coders Digest with a newsletter. Uh, every single week I share with my subscribers new videos and new training series in iOS development and in tech where only share by email. So please subscribe and please click the link below this video and enter your name and email so I can send you all the resources for this episode as well. So let's go into the demo and here is how you create custom fonts. So this is the startup project that I prepared for this demo of my today Swift challenge. Um, we're going to have an, like a table view that will have the name of the font up here. Then we'll have the sample text of that font. Okay, so download if you want to follow along this tutorial. Download the uh, resources folder by clicking the link right below this video create a free account with us so that you can join the challenge with me and then download all the resources here and you have a start project and my complete project after we complete this. Inside this project I have a main note storyboard that has a navigation controller here we have a table view controller. It has the navigation, the title is custom font. Each of the prototype cell, we have the font name and some sample text. So in the fonts table view controller, we will have an array of fonts that we'll create in just a moment. Then two data source methods, very simple. Number rows in section and cell for row and index path. In this cell for row index path, I will dequeue a reusable cell with the identifier a cell for the font table view cell. Then we'll pass in the chosen font for the cell. In the font table view cell, we'll have the chosen fonts and we'll update the UI for this font name label and the example text label. So the first thing that we'll do is I will do is go into the fonts folder that I prepare for you. Then you can use any kind of font here. The uh, the file type is .ttf. You see this .ttf. You can use any kind of font that you want here or your client wants. All you have to do is command A, drag all of these things into your font folder, and then copy item if needed and add to the target create groups, not photo references, and then finish. And we'll import all the fonts here, cool? Now, uh, the next thing is if you go right now into your main storyboard and you want, there are two ways, there are two ways that you can change the font, okay? Number one is you can go here and then in the font selection, you can use custom. And then uh, for example, I want to use the font called, uh, uh, let's say lobster, right? I know I don't even know that and you can download them on Google fonts And then now I will search for lobster and here we go Okay, oops lobster like this. All right now This alone is not work enough because if you want to refer the encode and also in main star bar you're going to need to add a key value pairs in your info.plist and that is fonts provided by application and we want to use an array and then over here i will explain that so item number one i will use you know what we should use the name of the file here okay now pay attention is we do need to have the extension so command i will paste it over here 
create a new string you can follow along with me or you can just download the complete project but i would recommend you follow along okay and then great vibes like this lobster regular like that now if you have like multiple uh uh, not typefaces, but not kind of like multiple. Uh, honestly, let me check. I'm looking for the word is uh, multiple styles, right? So this I use regular, but if you want to use it like bold or semi bold or medium or light, um, then each of that will be a different font, right? It will be like lobster uh, dash regular and then lobster light lobster medium something like that right so we have open sense but uh, paste it over here and then we have the condensed font cool so that is in the storyboard now let's say in the storyboard i change it into lobster right and then in fonts tail view controller what we can do is just for the sake of it, I'm going to do, let's say, uh, cabin, cabin, sketch, regular, like this. And then we have uh, Gloria. Okay, I'm going, actually, I'm going to copy paste it once again, just to make sure that it works. Like this. Another one for the quick five vibes. Then we use lobster regular, like that. And then here now we are going to encode refer to the name of the font right now in code in the name of the font we don't need the extension so you just need the name oops like that okay so you just need the name here uh I should. okay now when we run the app now we have tail view number Font that count right so the font now should be lobster that we set you see this okay but if you look at this we have the name of the fonts different on the cell because when i pass in the fonts dot uh fonts dot index path dot row so in the font tail view cell we have the chosen font to be the name of the fonts and we have the update ui I change it into chosen font, right? What we want to do now is we want to change the font uh, example text, example text label dot font to be UI fonts with the name of chosen font and the size, let's say 19 point so that it will bigger and we will can see the fonts more clearly. Here we go. So this is different kind of font and uh, intentionally put these fonts, uh, the background is black so that the font will stand out like that, okay? So, yeah, so we have that, different kinds of font. Of course, like your, your app will never use kind of like 10,000 fonts in one app, but just to demo for you how we can change the font very easily. Alright, so I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Use custom fonts. That's it. You have two options, honestly. One is just the same process of setting up, and you can use it in Storyboard, or you can use it in your code. And then um, the reason why like you will use this a lot, I promise you, you use this a lot if you work with uh, especially like private clients, right? If you are a freelancer, I was a freelancer before, and and when I work with one or two clients and then this these were like e-commerce uh, platforms right and for e-commerce platforms sometimes the custom fonts really made the platform special you know like if you are love shopping a lot a lot of time when you see the custom font of that platform you will really uh, really kind of like recognize that product so you know what i mean right okay all right so without further ado i hope that you enjoyed this episode uh, please do me two favors number one is subscribe to the channel so that every single time that i release a new training you'll get notified and number two is 
If you love to grab like ask me any questions, just put it in the comments and then click the link below this episode to download all the resources, the source code, and also I I will send you a weekly newsletter. It's called the Coders Digest. We are at week uh, probably week number six or seven now uh, issued. So I'm stuck about it. I'm stuck about the comments and the engagement that you guys are putting out there for the Coders Digest. So I see you tomorrow. I see you in the next video. Bye bye, guys.